When I was little, we lived on a farm. At first, it was perfect because there was so much to do. Not long after we moved in, my new friend Alex and her family moved in next door. Alex and I became best pals, and I felt lucky to have such a great friend. Alex and I did everything together. Alex was awesome because she liked the same things that I did. She loved to go hiking and playing sports and even skateboarding. Our parents had common interests, so they became friends as well. Alex would come over, and we would ride the horses, and I would go over to her house, and we would go swimming in her swimming pool. It was great to have such an awesome friend living so near. We spent nearly every day hanging out during the summer. One day, I noticed that my mom was talking on the phone and seemed excited, and I wondered what she was so happy about. When she was finished speaking, I asked her what was so exciting. Mom told me that one of her best friends, Joy, another journalist, had just moved down the street from us. Mom later made some brownies and told me to take them down the road and give them to Joy and her family. That sounded like a good excuse to go for a walk. I thought Alex might like to come and we could go hiking on the nature trail that was near Joy's new home. Alex and I walked down the road and we talked on the way. Alex's family almost bought the house that Joy and her family had moved into, but decided on the one that was next to us because it had a swimming pool. I was glad because if Alex had lived all the way down the road, I might not have met her and we might not have become best friends. Alex told me that they had visited Joy's house when they were checking out possible homes. She said that the house was modern and different from the other houses on our street. The other houses were older and more old-fashioned looking. My house was a stone farmhouse that was like 300 years old. I knew the house that Alex was talking about. This house's shape reminded me of Legos, but with glass and wood instead of plastic blocks. I had always wondered what it was like inside. When we arrived, we knocked on the door. A boy answered the door. He was the same age as Alex and me. But he was taller than we were. He had dark skin and big brown eyes and his hair was in cornrows. Tay, who's there? A lady's voice called from inside. Some kids! The boy, who I assumed was Tay, called back. Uh, Come on in, he said to Alex and me. Are you Jason? The lady asked me as she walked into the room. She was tall had very dark skin like Tay and long black braids that hung from all over her head. She also had the same dark eyes as Tay. I thought she looked like a movie star. She spoke with a slight accent. Yes, I said. My mom sent these for you and your family. I handed her the basket of brownies. Looking around, I noticed a lot of unusual decorations and sculptures and photographs around the living room where we were. I had never seen artwork like this. I also saw a picture of Martin Luther King on the wall. I knew who he was. My mom talked about him a lot. Thanks so much. They look delicious. I'm Joy, she smiled, and this is my son, Tay. Pleased to meet you, Tay, I said. Now I had a boy my age in the neighborhood. How great was that? Tay was an unusual name, I thought. I wondered where it came from. I'm Alex, Alex said. It's great to have another kid our age here. We're going hiking on the nature trail. You want to come with us? Alex was always confident and outspoken, even when we were young kids. Sure, Tay said, if it's okay with you, Mom. Of course, sweetie, Joy said. Don't be gone too long. Daddy will be home soon. And so we set out. I was thrilled to have another person my age on my street. So where did you move here from, Alex asked. Alex was always interested in everything about other people. I could see her being a reporter when we grew up. She wanted to know everything. We lived closer to the city, Tay said. My mom and dad want to live in an area with more nature. What's Tay mean? I asked, not wanting to sound uninterested. And I was curious. It was just that Alex was a lot more outgoing with her questions. It's short for Tavon, Tay explained. That's a unique name, Alex said. What does it mean? 
That was another of Alex's interests, who people were named after and what their names meant. I was curious, too. I had never heard a name like Tavon before. My parents named me after my mom's parents, Tanis and Yvonne, Tavon said. They call me Tay for short. Tanis sounded like a cool name. Tanis? I like the sound of that name. It, it sounded exotic to my little kid ears, like from somewhere far away. My mom says it's Creole. That's her family background, Tay said. What's Creole? I'd never heard of Creole. Was it a, a country? It's what my grandparents are, Tay continued. They come from Louisiana, but also Haiti. They speak a lot of different languages. I thought Tay must be a brilliant kid coming from such an unusual background. I was excited to have such two great friends who lived on my street. As the summer went on, Tay, Alex, and I hung out almost every day. Alex and I taught Tay how to ride horses, and Tay taught us about basketball. We taught him how to play lacrosse. We went swimming in Alex's pool. And Tay's mom made us delicious Creole food. We became best friends and remained so. Over the years, we made lots more friends from school and then college. Our group is diverse. From those friendships, I learned that diversity is a healthy thing in relationships. I learned that if we were all alike, then people would only interact with people who had the same upbringings and beliefs or skin colors. And if that were the case, our views would be narrow. We would just know one side of an argument and only care about our own ideas. The world would not grow because we would be isolated. I grew up in a diverse situation, and because of that, I rarely felt isolated. I felt like my friends and their ideas and perspectives fed and increased my ideas and perspectives. Diversity as a child made me into a healthier adult. It also made me a kinder and happier one. I feel lucky to have learned that lesson at such an early age. Thank you for watching. Please click on my right to subscribe if you like the video. And don't forget to click on the bell icon when you subscribe so that you can be notified when we upload a new video. Watch more videos on the left, including our playlist. And thank you again.